my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three different recipes. These are first time for me. I haven't made them before. Uh, and they are Asian style chicken wings, jalapeno uh, pepper dip, as well as stuffed sweet red peppers, small red peppers. So, so a little bit, well, they're not going to be only red because I couldn't find just red. So mine are a mixture of colors but they're sweet, not spicy. So a little bit of, um, a little bit of something for everybody. So if somebody can't um, have the jalapeno dip, they can have the peppers. Although I did not find the jalapeno dip to be very spicy when I tried it before at my friend's house. So I'm going to get started, take you along with me. And I just wanna say these recipes would be great for your next weekend for the Super Bowl party or any type of uh, gathering and you need appetizers. So don't limit yourself just to the Super Bowl. So let's get started. So the first recipe that I'm gonna be working on are the chicken wings and I have about five pounds here. So I had, to multiply my recipe i will have a full recipe linked in the description box for you so here are my wings i did cut them and got rid of the tips some salt pepper then i also have some soya sauce um, honey now the recipe asked for maple syrup but i ran all out so i'm using honey and then lemon juice from a lemon and some sriracha and some garlic so the first thing that i'm going to be doing is um, seasoning my chicken wings so i'm going to do that by uh, seasoning them with salt and pepper once I get them all mixed up well and all the pieces are incorporated with salt and pepper, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. And then after that, I'm going to transfer them onto my baking sheet that I had lined with some parchment paper and added a bit more olive oil to it. you want to make sure that they are not overlapping so that way they can cook evenly and I will cook them in a preheated oven at 400 for um, about 45 minutes to an hour depending on your oven and while that's cooking I'm going to get my sauce ready and I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients in here and bring it to a boil and then simmer it for a little bit so that includes lemon juice I already pressed my garlic into the pan I'm going to add my sriracha my soy sauce and honey you want to make sure that you are stirring it a con uh, continuously so it doesn't burn i am using a wooden spoon and then i did switch into a whisk Once the wings were done, I transfer them into a bowl and toss them with the sauce. These were delicious wings fall off the bone. For my next recipe, I'm going to be making a dip and you need a full block of cream cheese, uh, jalapeno peppers uh, uh, cut up, some shredded cheese, I use marble but you can use cheddar, uh, some bacon, I used our homemade and then also some uh, spring onion, then parmesan, some mayo and sour cream and then also some garlic powder. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my bacon. I'm not going to show you that because that's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to saute it. And then I'm going to take, while the bacon's cooking, I'm going to take aside a little bit of ingredients. So a little bit of cheese, a little bit of um, uh, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of scallions and I'm also going to um, add a little bit of jalapenos and I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm going to get a bowl and mix the rest of the ingredients together in it <laughs> Going to use this tool from Pampered Chef. That, that tool is used for um, separating your ground meat while you're cooking, but it does work really well for crushing tomatoes and uh, several other ways I've seen people use it. It does work really well for mashing the um, cream cheese especially if your cream cheese is not fully at room temperature which mine wasn't and that's another thing i forgot to mention you want your cream cheese to be at room temperature so once i have this all mixed up well i'm going to add my bacon which has now been cooked and I wasn't looking for the crispy, crispy bacon. I did set a little bit aside in that bowl with the ingredients that I set aside. And then the rest I just put uh, into this bowl. And then I mixed it a little bit more. Now I have this little stone baker that I use for dips. I think this came from Epicure. Um, and then I added a little bit of olive oil and just um, used paper towel to spread it around. My brush was in a dishwasher, so usually I use a brush, but I just wanted to have it everywhere so that way it doesn't stick. I'm going to take my mixture and add it to it, and then I'm going to top it with that remaining that ingredients that I set aside. Once all this is ready, I'm going to bake it in an oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. Just until that cheese is bubbling. This one is definitely a keeper and we used pita rounds to dip in. The last recipe that I'm going to be sharing is definitely the easiest. You need some Parmesan some cilantro some uh, spring onion and a whole thing of brisain cheese as well as some small red peppers now it did call for red ones unfortunately the only ones i could find were the f um, mixed colored ones but um the first thing that i did was mix all of my ingredients but the peppers together and then once it was together, it was a little bit on a drier side, I found, which was no big deal. I just needed to um, uh, use a spoon and my fingers to fill in the peppers. So once this was all incorporated and mixed well together, I cut my peppers in half, getting rid of the stem, and then I stuffed them with this mixture. going to be using my big cast iron to bake this in it.
I did cook mine under a broiler for about five minutes. So here they are, and I have to say I prefer the smaller ones a little bit better, just a little bit less cheesy mixture in it, so depending on what you like as far as cheese goes. Um, and here it is, this is how I served mine on a plate, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and make sure you check out all my other game day recipe videos, which will be linked here at the end. So until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.